Hey, what's up everyone? It's Duncan from Overland Journals. Today's video, it's an unboxing video of a new flashlight I got for myself. Welcome back everyone. A few months ago, I got myself a little flashlight from a brand called Olight. And that was the very first time I tried one of their products and it was a tiny little uh, flashlight. If you missed it, if you want to check it out, I'll leave a link in the description below. And I found it quite useful. I also found the quality of build very good and pricing was very reasonable. And I've used that for about, I think, five or six months now and I've been pretty um, happy with it. So I decided to get myself another one, another one which I, I wanted to be um, functional in many ways. I wanted to, for it to work as a flashlight uh, because you could never have too many flashlights when you're out camping. Um, I also want to have um, self-powered uh, flashlights or floodlights because then that means I don't have to rely too much on the battery of the 4B to light up the lights that are coming off the 4B. And at the same time, I wanted something that will work as a flashlight as well as something as a work light. Um, you never know, maybe I'm doing a bit of food prepping and I need a light there or whatever. And also, apart from, you know, from my traveling, I also wanted something that I can use around the house um, when I needed it. So I looked through their product range and I got myself this, uh, which is known as an Orlite Swivel. And this particular one is actually called an Orlite Swivel swivel orange and that's because it's orange in color and I, I literally received this this morning and uh, and I thought I'll do the unboxing together with you so I'm going into this product for the first time as I record now by the way if you have if this is the first time you're on my channel please hit that subscription button and the notification bell because my channel is all about sharing my experiences in overlanding with the rest of the community and I bring out a video every single week and um, at the end of this video, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, share with others who might find it useful as well. And um, if you've got questions or comments, leave them in the description in the, um, below in the video. And uh, just one more quick thing, uh, just to get uh, let you guys know, I am running a Christmas hamper giveaway. It's a really cool hamper. We, we try and do it every year. Last year, it didn't quite happen. It's our way of, mine and Johnny's way of saying, Thank you for the support that you're giving the channel. And there's some cool giveaways that we're doing. So go check that out. I'll leave the link in the description as well. If you, if you find the content that I'm creating useful to you or of value to you and you'd like to try and help me out, then please head on over to my Patreons page, link in the description below, and buy me a cup of coffee. Uh, you get certain extra benefits for being a Patreon supporter and those are all mentioned on the page. And one last thing to get through is that on my website, overland-journals.com, there's a whole heap of content and there's also a community content-driven forum. Head on over, it's a free sign up and be part of the conversations and share information. Well, let's get back to the unboxing. And as I said, I just received this, so I haven't um, um, seen it myself, the product itself, though I've, I did a bit of research before I got it. So it is, an Orlite Swivel. It's called the Orlite Swivel Orange because that's orange in color. You can get it in other colors, but I quite like this because it's nice and bright. And, and when I want to grab it or find it from wherever I might have stored it in the 4B, then it's right there. Um, then the color itself works. And um, I wanted something bright and vibrant at the same time. Now, to give you a bit of the product descriptions, okay, so what it says, it, it's got a flashlight, a front-facing flashlight, as well as it works as a floodlight. So it's got two functions there. And according to the manufacturer's specifications, um, when it's on floodlight mode and it's on highest setting, which is 400 lumens, according to the manufacturer, the throw is 25 meters, and it'll run for five hours, um, according to this. If you set it on medium, then it's 160 lumens. 
it'll run for nine hours the throw is 15 meters and if you set it on low uh, which is 12 lumens um, just sort of enough to illuminate a certain close area 90 hours it says and five meters throw if you go to flashlight mode then they say on the highest setting it's only got a high and a low it doesn't have a medium on the flashlight mode on the high setting it's 200 lumens and runs for five hours 80 meter throw if it is on the low setting it's 50 lumens 27 hours at and a 35 meter throw so that's according to the manufacturer specifications in real life it could be a little bit off here and there but nevertheless these are pretty impressive um, for a small product so let's do the unboxing all right so in the box you get the product itself you get the, uh, the user manual which is uh, in English plus a couple of several other languages so English good enough for us for me and of course the charge cable which is a USB-C charge cable and um, what I like about their products uh, compared to certain other products is um, the charge cable that they give you is it's, it's a good length um, I've had some other products in the past and also from sometimes from you know well-known established brands and the charge cable is really short and sometimes I don't understand why they can't make it a little bit longer whereas with all I even with the previous product that I got from them it's um, pretty nice and long and uh, especially when I'm traveling and I'm in the phobie and I want to get it charged um, it's the length sometimes helps depending on where the charge point is and where um, I'm going to place the product so that's that and then the product itself comes really nicely packaged and there you have it Let's get these out of the way Okay, so there is the little Olight and that's how it looks. It's, um, I'm gonna remove this protective cover there. Right, there you go. So that's how it looks. That's where the, the floodlight is. And that is the flashlight. So the flashlight's over there and why they call it a swivel because it can swivel and it's got these notches so you can adjust it to which notch you want it's pretty handy in that sense and we can stand upright as well and and that becomes pretty useful when you're using the the floodlight mode so you can have it angled in which way you want the this also at the at the base of it here it has three very strong magnets so you can attach it to uh, the the if you're working under the bonnet of your car and you want you're doing some work within the uh, engine bay and it's dark or it's getting dark then um, it's um, very useful because you can just have you can have this the magnets will hold on to the underside or the inside of your bonnet and you adjust the light any which way you want and and get your work done now the previous o light i had which like i said is in the description below go check it out it's more of a flashlight and that too has a magnet at, at the base of it and you can attach it to the bonnet if you're doing some work or in, in a similar environment if you're doing work you can attach it and but the thing is it's a flashlight so it doesn't flood whereas why I like this and why I got this was because it's a floodlight and that gives a wider spread uh, I, I'm not in, as far as a floodlight is concerned I'm not too interested in the distance it travels it's more the spread and this is a quite a, a wide distance and um, I feel that would be helpful in such situations so magnets helps me to um, attach this onto literally anything any metal surface so even if it's like to be used as a camp light 
um, all I have to do is just you know put it onto the body of the vehicle and and then adjust it any which way I want so I can have it adjusted like that heading in sort of heading light heading forward or I can have it like that depending on the, fun the, the purpose of I'm using it for so the magnets are super useful and the fact that it locks into several different angles that's very useful and of course I can use it as a flashlight as well so while I'm at the back here also another useful feature that they've introduced is where I can use it as a hook so if I wanted to hook it onto something just open up and then hook it on that's pretty thoughtful in their design and in the design itself what I like about their products is that it's it's very sturdy and it, the build quality you can feel it with your hands it's rated at ipx4 so that's it means it can take moisture and and a fair amount of water being thrown at it so that's uh, also pretty useful it weighs according to the packaging it's 180 grams it's very light it's extremely light and um and, uh, dimensions the products product dimensions i'll leave in the description below so go check it out and all these um, specs i read off the box will be in the description so if you want to get more um, info it's available there so go check that out now if you want to charge this up the easiest is it's very easy there you go um, open it up on the side and your usb-c cable goes in there for you to get the charging done all right, so once you want to switch on the product, obviously you've got to make sure that it's fully charged. Now, when you get it straight out of the box, it does have a fair bit of charge in it as it is. And I'm about to find out because I just opened the box. Otherwise, get it fully charged up. And if you want to switch on the flashlight, all you do is hold the button onto the right of the product, which is um, my right. And you press it once and the flashlight comes on. Now, by default, the flashlight goes, opens out at the highest setting, the high setting. And then if you want to get to the next setting, which is the low setting, it's only got two settings, high and a low, um, keep it pressed. So it goes to the low setting and that's sufficient. It's, it doesn't have a huge throw, but it's got a fair bit of a throw and a, a, a spread as well. So that's good enough for getting, you know, a bit of light into, depending on what you want to get done. Now, if you want to switch from flashlight mode, to the floodlight mode all you do is keep the on off button pressed for a, about a second or so and then the floodlight comes on now when you're on floodlight mode you get three settings as mentioned on the packaging it's high medium and a low i thought i'll do a quick demo and try it out for myself as well at the same time and it is getting dark now and let's say supposing I want to get something out of the back here and I've got no lighting, then this product is really useful, the swivel, because I can literally have it onto the surface there as long as it's metal and it lights up and I can angle it any which way I want and that'll do the job. Another nice feature they've added to this is the charge indicator lights. There are three blue lights that lights up telling and it gives you the level of charge the battery has got so i do like the product as i said um, I, i'm obviously yet to put it to test but as far as what i've seen straight out of the box i'm very happy build quality is excellent the 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 two functions the the flashlight and the floodlight is going to be super useful for me and i must mention at the time of making this video all light has got a flash sale going on and it's up to as much as 40 percent off now as it is this product considering the build quality and the functionality is very well priced it's close to about the 50 dollar australian mark i think it comes in at 49.95 dollars and during the flash sale time it's going to be about 40 40 percent off that price so if you're thinking about getting one or if you would like to get one i'll leave a link to their website in the description below go just click on that and um, off you go and get yourself one of these pretty cool product i am happy with it and down the track i will be doing a long-term review but having had the experience with the very first light that i bought from all light um, i'm expecting this to be as good if not better in terms of functionality 
build strength and so on. So that's the Olight Orange Swivel or Olight Swivel Orange. So I hope you found that video useful. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you have questions or comments, leave them in below. If you haven't subscribed already, hit the subscription button and the notification bell. And thanks for watching.